Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. We begin our day today seeking guidance and wisdom for the tasks before us on behalf of all Texans. Just as this great, big, wonderful state is home to a diverse populace, so too is this body, as today's invocation reflects, where I'm joined by our colleagues, Representatives Vo, Neistat, and Simpson. I am so grateful to live in these United States of America where we are protected by our Constitution from the establishment of religion or the free exercise thereof. As we come together today with the responsibility and opportunity that has been given to us by our constituents and recognizing the diversity of our beliefs and faith traditions, I invite you to honor our unity in gratitude, fulfilling our duties today on behalf of every Texan, regardless of their beliefs or our own. Chair Organized Representative Vo. May all beings everywhere, the strong and the weak, the great and the small, the meek and the powerful, let your love flow outward through the whole universe to its full height, depth, and broad extent. Then as you stand or walk, sit or lie down, as long as you are awake, strive for this with a one-pointed mind. Your life will bring heaven to earth. Members, in, in Hebrew, to kill olam means to repair, to protect, to save the world. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam shechecheyanu v'yikiyamanu v'hikliyanu lazman hazeh. Praised are you, the Eternal One, our God, ruler of the cosmos, who has kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this moment. Let us pray together. Our Father and our God, we acknowledge that you have made us and not we ourselves. Lord, we bow before you, confessing that you are the Almighty, you are omnipotent, that you see all things, you know us all together and that you do all your good pleasure. Lord, we thank you for exalting us to this place of service. We ask that we might represent our constituents well this day, and you, our Maker and our Savior. We pray that you would enable us to see those who are back at home, and to realize that you see us. Lord, grant us holy fear of you, fear of your frown, but a delight in your smile. Our Father, we thank you for the forgiveness that we have in your Son, Jesus Christ. And because of that, the ability to serve you to serve one another. Lord, strengthen us with grace, with love when we're not loved, with understanding when we're not understood. Grant us patience and persistence to do what is right, to honor you. Our Father, we plead with you that if we forget you this day, that you would not forget us. Be with us for your glory and for the good of our state and for your Son, Jesus Christ. In his name we pray, amen. <laughs> 